Well, it's been in my family. My father's grandmother made this quilt for him in 1936 when he was 17. Uh, with all of his Boy Scout patches that he had earned uh, from the time he was 12 until 17 uh, in the Boy Scouts of America up in uh, Evanston, Illinois. And we can see that he earned a lot of Boy Scout patches in those five years. Yeah. He did it all. He was very well-rounded. He was. <laughs> yeah. He could tie great knots. <laughs> <laughs> he was an explorer scout. Oh, he went all the way, he did everything. He was all the way up, order of the arrow. He did all of it. The whole thing. Yeah. He earned the patch that's pinned on after the quilt was already made and he'd earned the other patch. Your father, how long did he remain in the Boy Scouts? His professional life, he was a, a Boy Scout with the um, four different Boy Scout councils. So he, he was with the Boy Scouts for over 20 odd years uh, as a scout executive and a Boy Scout camp, camp leader. Um, he did just about everything in the Boy Scouts. So it was really a way of life for him. It was. Yeah. It was. And so I would grow up on Boy Scout camps. In the summer, my mother was the camp nurse and my father was the camp director. That's interesting. I was not allowed to go past the mess hall unescorted after I wow. had my first bikini. So I was disrupting <laughs> the staff. Well, it's a lovely piece. And the retail value on a quilt like this, as a quilt, more than just a Boy Scout, you know, not taking the badges by themselves into consideration. I would say the quilt itself is worth about $3,000. Really? On the retail market. Oh, wow. 